Good morning. I look quite the mess right now. It's been a minute. I'm gonna try and film a day in the life today. So we'll see how it goes. I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru right now. And then I gotta go back home real quick because I forgot my wallet. So mm, that's how my day is starting. Okay, I just got to work. It's like 7.15, 7.20. I'm gonna change and then put my gear out. I'm gonna do a roll call and then we're gonna check out the trucks and you know how it goes. So you know the deal at this point already. We're checking out our trucks. It's 8.30 right now and we're probably like, I don't know, 75% done with truck checkouts. It's also Friday, so we're cleaning the stalls. This is a uh, day one of two shifts that I'm working, Friday, Saturday. And I have to write my EPR today, which is fun. It's great and fun. Um, my EPR was due and I was like, cool. My supervisor has it taken care of, right? Little did I know, not right. I was supposed to write my own EPR. I did not know this. And I know so many senior women write their own EPRs, but I've never, I've had great supervisors in the past and I've never had to write my own EPR. I've just provided bullets. And now, now I have to write my own EPR, which is trash, it sucks. And I have to do it in like a day or two. Um, doable, so I'll get it done, but it's just a surprise. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to these truck checkouts. Understand. What did you Wait, click on? I didn't click on anything. <laughs> okay, I just want to put a little bit of context as to what I'm laughing about. Like I already mentioned before, I'm writing my EPR today. My coworker, Liao, kind enough to go ahead and hop on a computer and send me some paperwork and just things to help me out to write my EPR. So he's on his computer. I don't know what this man clicks. I don't know what he does. But all of a sudden, I look over at his laptop and he has like, he has like 10,000 tabs all opening up at the same time. It's been like more than five minutes and this man is still exiting out all these f***ing tabs. He still has like a thousand more to go. And he's like, I don't know what happened. I swear to God, I didn't click anything. He said something about <laughs> opened all of his PDFs or something in a Word notepad and somehow he opened up every single PDF that was on his computer. I was dying. I'm still dying. I just, I just want to know like how that happened, but no. He eventually got me those papers that helped me with my EPR. Very grateful for him. But yeah, I was just, I was dying laughing. Is stuff still open? <laughs> yeah, would be Probably. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yep, definitely. Uh, definitely. <laughs> and then what's more inconvenient about this is like the little box is off to the side so I have to like drag it over to delete it. <laughs> so it's not even like I can just like keep clicking it right here. <laughs> drag it over. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, bye, 
medical, stand by medical. I've just been working on my EPR all day because um, that's due, that's been due. It's lunch right now. Um, I already ate lunch. I had some beef and rice and like pico de gallo. And I'm gonna work on my, guess what? You guessed it, my EPR. Um, I think we might have an exercise later. So I'll try and film that, that's all. I have big plans for my room. Let me just show you, let me show you what I got. Can you tell what it is yet? Is this not the most beautiful Keurig you've ever seen in your life? I think he just came out. Yep, there he is. Good? have seen my face time and time again on this channel but obviously I am not one person this job could not be done with me by myself so I just wanted to introduce you guys to some of the other firefighters at this station hello my name is Airman Dahl I am a firefighter here at Beal Fire Department. I'm originally from Wisconsin, and my job here is driving the aircraft rescue firefighting panther that we have in the background. I'm Senior Airman Baller from Michigan, and I'm driver operator. My name is Alec Guevara. Eric Garcia. I'm down from Southern California, down and around LA County. I'm from SoCal as well, and Riverside County. I have been in the Air Force for three and a half years now. Two and, two and a half? What's y'all's position at field today? I am a driver operator on Crash 9. I am also a driver operator on Crash 3. Aaron Leal. Uh, Joseph Leal, this is my husband. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> How old are y'all? 25. 31. Oh, I'm from Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm originally from Salinas, California. I grew up in Modesto. Crew chief. <laughs> Lead firefighter. I say you the kid. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Lead firefighter. How long have you been at Beal? I have been at Beal since December 3rd of 2021, slightly over a year. I've been here nine months. What's the most interesting call you've had? I was deployed one time and there was uh, just a lot of mystery, I guess you would say, around a lieutenant colonel who had killed himself. OSI investigated it uh, and they thought that it was a murder. I'll go not as dark. <laughs> uh, vehicle rollover, uh, two elderly couples. They use a forklift to actually lift the truck up because the wife, her feet were pinned underneath the vehicle and then she was unconscious. So we brought her back, pulled the husband out, was able to save both of them. So I love my shift. We have uh, a lot of camaraderie and people from all different walks of life. So but yeah, I just wanted to kind of introduce to you a few of the members here. Yeah, unfortunately there is not another female at this station. There used to be one other one, but yeah, hopefully we'll get one soon. That'd be That'd be cool. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's 4 p.m. right now. We just got back from training slash going to the commissary. I'm gonna sit in front of my computer once again to finish my EPR. Okay, you guys, one hour later, I think I'm finished. That was difficult, but also not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Had a lot of help from my coworkers and then as well as the people I just graduated ALS with. For dinner, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm having chicken, green beans, 
and rice. Kind of boring, but it's fine. I'm gonna have dessert later. I think I'm gonna have a fat boy. One of those ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, I'm gonna have one of those for dessert. Yo, I got the goods. They are called fat boys. I have a fat pimple under my lip, but it's under my lip, so you can't super tell. <laughs> I'm kind of full. I don't really want this right now, but I'm still gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go wash this face, shower, and then hit the hay. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> Good morning. What time is it? 7.52. Can you see that? We didn't get any calls last night. So, I was big chilling. I was knocked out. I'm gonna go freaking brush my teeth and then go make some breakfast. And we'll get the day started. It's raining like crazy outside. I'll show you one second. This porn is coming down. Oh my god. I look like I just woke up. Because I did. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned yesterday. I'm not driving. And there's a whole bunch of birds in the station. I'm not driving. The shift I am backseating that way. When we do have a call, I can go in with my crew chief and kind of just um, talk on the radio and kind of get used to that position as a crew chief. gonna do my makeup a little bit because I want to and I look rough oh here's an update on my pimple from last night I tried to squeeze it it is not ready you know that one Hailey Bieber clip of her putting concealer on but it's like the tiniest bit of her like that's literally what she did so basically all I did was I put a little concealer under my eyes and then brush my eyebrows up i put the tiniest little flick of eyeliner being a firefighter doesn't mean you can't wear makeup necessarily i just kind of fit it where i can i'm gonna go probably eat breakfast now i kind of like the fact that it's raining outside it's like we're kind of confined in here and it's like cozy you know what i mean obviously if we have a call we're gonna have to go out but How was my breakfast? Super good. Chef's kiss. <laughs> yeah, really full now because that was a lot of food. We'll see what the day has in store for us. Stand by for a structural emergency at dormitory 24110. <laughs> Oh. 
waving over there. the button, yeah? <laughs> or you can just... It's the morning of the next day, and it's time to go home. We ended up staying up really late last night with the guys, and we were all just kind of talking. We literally all talked for like four hours, so I ended up not going to bed until one o'clock. I'm gonna pack up my things, get ready to go home. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a minute since I've posted, but I enjoyed filming this. This was fun. So hopefully you'll see more videos coming from me. I'll see you in the next one. Damn squeaky shoes. Let's get it. I bought for 16 passengers. This is G5. No, this not a challenger. Wait. No, I would leave. Wait, a documentary? Oh, no. Checking, check, check, check. Just checking this mic so that I can interview other people. Hello. Okay, so we good? We got everything <laughs> Already? Here, <laughs> you carry that what damn you camera with you everywhere you go. What? Yeah, okay, so again, everybody's different. We're, we all don't wear the same size shoes, right? Hell We gotta find. You guys all eat a bunch of shit. I know how you guys <laughs> act like I don't. But. Go home in your place. Me or Lucio, I'm both on three. Hello. 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 Oh, she's recording. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's not gonna make the cut. <laughs> Be sure to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> subscribe. Natural.